Here are the army artists and welcome to medieval technology. What has four legs and a catapult? Well, it is the cat a bolt. It is a combination of the mechanical spider, a much more stable version of the mechanical spider. It's faster, it's more stable, it walks up hills, it's magical compared to the spider. And then we have the, uh, the automatic catapult version 2 taped up on its head. It's actually not, there's no tape in this game yet, which if there were tape, I would have taped it onto the head because that would have been so cool. Anyway, uh, there, it's not taped, it's connected to the top of its head. Uh, it fires as it walks, it's all one motion, so either it walks and fires or it doesn't walk and doesn't fire. So that's how it works. It's a comp pretty much unmodified version of the automatic catapult version 2. Just connected to the center rotor here, the same way it was, well, well, over there when we had the the stationary automatic catapult. The only really modification to the catapult itself is these bars on the side here to keep the uh, projectiles in place as it walks, because it will tilt to the sides. Also, when it walks up hills, uh, it's going to. Uh, well, tr throw around the projectiles, uh, so this is to keep it from dropping them. And then we have a little bit of a modified ammunition thing here. Uh, and that's also just to keep the projectiles from falling out while it's walking. Windmill to make it look like it is powered by the wind and a button to make it walk. So we're just gonna press that and gonna look at it firing. I'm not gonna explain too much about the bottom part here, uh, the actual walking mechanism, because I'll do that later on in the video when I show you this by itself, because that's pretty cool by itself as well. You could possibly build a house on it using the logs, of course, but the, these logs. Uh, I don't think you could use the those <laughs> building blocks. Uh, uh, but you can see it will walk and walk and fire and fire. It takes two steps and sh fires the catapults once. Two steps, fire the catapult, etc, etc. Uh, you'll see it has no tr trouble walking down uh, off the, the edge there. And without the catapult... Uh, so let's actually watch this while it walks. So without the catapult... It will walk over the hills over here. It will walk all the way over there. Over to the edge of the grass over there. It... It's... I have no idea how that works, but it did it. And it does it again and again, and it, it just didn't break. It is very stable uh, by itself. With the windmill, it doesn't actually manage to walk over the... Uh, the hills, because it's too top-heavy. And generally too heavy, so it will just slide down the hills. Uh, but it is a pretty cool build, uh, anyway. And you can see that you can actually push it to the sides and make it walk in a different direction. So there's, there's no built-in way to make it turn, but it you can make it turn if you want to. It's also pretty neat if we do this. We're just gonna stand below it. Do this. There we go. We'll see that it will walk up things. It may look like it's going to hurt itself, but it, it really... I, I mean... I'm surprised it, it's working this well. So let's see if I can stand under here as well. Maybe make it tip a little. Oh, there we go. There it's doing the big nice tip. So this is why we have this cage over here for the uh, for the ammunition oh is this gonna step on me again yes it no it's not maybe it is it is haha -ha. so you can see even though it is definitely tipping on the side it still writes itself and even though it smashes into the ground and breaks its leg it will still keep on walking so it can lose uh, pretty substantial parts of its leg so if we just remove that it, it'll still work uh, and walk. It will walk worse. Are you doing the motions? Yeah, in the background there. So you can see it's not working as well as it did before, but we can uh, we can delete this as well. 
Delete that, doesn't really matter. I, you know what, let's delete that. Yeah, let's, let's just delete this leg. Or all together. And see what it does. I haven't actually tried this. It'll probably limp forward. So yeah. It appears like it doesn't really need all of its force leg. It will work as a cripple as well. Which is surprising to me. I haven't tried this before. I, d I had the legs break once. Or one of the legs break a little bit. And it still kept on walking. But this is beyond what I have seen before. So that's that's pretty cool. What if I what if I take this leg from you as well? Oh, there we go. I only have two legs. What will you do now? Will you walk now? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> it's. I have nothing more to say. Let's go to the next section of the video. So this is the walker by itself. So this is the second iteration of the walker because the. The first build or the original prototype was destroyed by a blue screen and I had to rebuild it from scratch completely. There was nothing left that I could salvage. Uh, the original version had a little bit smaller uh, belts. Uh, they just had a one block smaller belt so the, the end rope ends were just one block further in. It also had uh, belts going from this axle to this axle. And one that went from this axle to that axle. So they went in a cross connecting all of these together via belts. And same in the front. Uh, so this is the back and that is the front. It did have... It had those for extra stability. Turns out it didn't need them. So I didn't bother adding them on the second version. And it didn't really do a difference. So let's just start this. To put it down on the ground you have to do this. Use... You take at the bottom left corner, control, shift, right click and drag it out. You have to do this. Uh, you could also do, well, that. Uh, I'll probably save it on the ground like so. So do that. There we go. I saved it for you. You don't have to do that. And if you want to copy paste it, you can do that. So copy paste it. Uh, make sure that it is aligned hello there we go you can't drop it too far so you can drop it like that and then you have to align this a little bit looks like it did it fairly well it moved just a teeny tiny bit so let's move it back uh, that should be perfect i think eh maybe don't think it matters too much and then you just connect all the ropes to uh, one another like so was that connected that was connected and then you connect the other side to the other side all the way around i don't think this is a perfect connection uh, it is stable enough to not care about that so let's send you into the forest uh, so it works works fine and don't try to turn it before putting it down on the ground, which you don't have to care about because I already put it down on the ground for you. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to make you turn a little bit because we can. Let's do that. You can probably start walking as well. To do that, you can walk in the complete opposite direction and we'll see how far you get. So this... Walking into the forest will probably take out a tree if you're lucky to. It won't be able to walk over the trees because they break them too high up and won't be able to walk over them. Will they break anything? I'm not sure. Was it with... There we go. You can see that it broke the tree. The tree is going to fall over, but it did break it too high up, so it doesn't actually make it over. So I'm going to break this guy or remove him so he doesn't cause any bugs in this world for now. And we're just going to see this guy walk away into the distance. And I think we're going to end this video with me standing on top of this. So there we go, guys. I think this is a decent angle. Yes, indeed. Holo, 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 holo. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Workshop links 
to both of these versions down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. And I shall see you. Hello next time.